Hey there, this is Akshay Nudan. Welcome back to a new video. In the last parts, we were studying about positional parameters and the named parameters. In this video, we are going to see default parameters. That means if you don't want to provide any value to your function as a parameter, it is going to consider that condition and we are going to have a default parameter value. Let's, let's learn it with an example, right? I'm going to create a void main function. And first of all, I'm going to take, I'm going to make two functions. One will be uh, area of a rectangle and another will be area of a circle. So area of rectangle is going to take uh, parameters in the form of positional parameters and area of circle will be taking parameters as name parameters, right? It's simple. Let's create two functions and they're going to return me uh, areas in the form of double data type, right? So double area rectangle and it is going to take positional parameters, length and breadth. So double length and double breadth, right? And it is going to return me, return length into breadth. Fine, I can just format it. I Another function is going to compute area of a circle. So area, circle, and it is going to take named parameters. And with named parameters, I need to define the parameter as required that, hey, I definitely need this parameter. Without this, I cannot compute a area of a circle. Without radius, you cannot compute area of a circle, right? So I'm going to take double radius, right? And I'm going to compute it by the formula of area of circle that is pi r square. So 3.14 into my radius and into my radius. Perfect. And I can just format it. There is no error in this, right? So this is a named parameter and this is a positional parameter, right? And I can just print, I can have uh, some uh, dummy values. So double length is equal to, let's say uh, 5.0 and I can have breadth value. So double breadth is equal to 2.0 and I can have double radius as let's say 5 point or let's say 8.0, right? And I can just call these functions. So print area of rectangle, area of rectangle, and you can provide length and you can provide breadth. So as you already know, this is a positional parameter, right? So you cannot provide breadth before the length. You have to follow this exact order, right? So this is good. And I can have my area of circle. And in this, as it is a named parameter uh, case, so I can directly, uh, I can, I, I, I just need to provide it a name. So radius, the variable name that you have used over here. So radius is going to be my radius. That means this radius. So radius, semicolon, and we are all set to go. So I can just format it and I can just run it. So it is going to give me the area of rectangle and the area of the circle. Perfect, right? Now my question is, what if I don't have this radius value? I don't have this radius value, right? Then I need to provide a radius value over here, but I don't have it. So what I can do is without this radius, this function cannot work. This is pretty much clear, right? So as I'm not going to get any radius from the function calling, I can have a default value over here and I can make it not required. So remove the required, but this radius definitely needs some value, right? So I can give it a default value. So let's say my default value is going to be 1.0. So this means that if user does not have any radius value over here, I can remove it and user does not have any value to provide it as a function parameter. I can remove the required and I can have a default value right over here. Right? Then I don't need to provide a functional parameter. I don't need to provide the parameter and this in dart, it, it only works, the default parameters only work with named parameters, right? So let me just run it. So my area of circle is going to be 3.14, right? So radius is one. Now for this function, if I want to use default values, I need to make it a named parameter case. Positional parameters don't work with default values. So I'm going to have curly brackets, length, let's say default will be 2.0 and breadth will also be 2.0, my default value, right? And then I can remove this length and breadth and I can just run it. I can format it and I can run it. Perfect. So this is how default parameters work in Dart. I hope this is clear. We have seen examples with positional and with named. So positional doesn't support default values. 
so we had to convert them into name parameter scenario right so i hope you like this video till next part keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot